Once upon a time, there was an art museum. It was a happy place with many happy, industrious volunteers. These volunteers were experienced. They had been docents, they had managed art rental and the gallery shops, led art tours, raised money for the purchase of art, and even sponsored the first lottery in Ontario. Then times changed. Museum policies changed, and the volunteers wondered how they'd continue to support the visual arts. One special volunteer had a great idea. Let us organize and do our own thing, she said. And this was met with the chorus, that is a great idea. There was the matter of a name. This was a difficult decision. So from a long list, they chose a temporary name. And these unhappy volunteers became the Toronto Friends of the Visual Arts. They agreed that there was one thing that they would never ever do, and that was to stage fundraising events. Over these 20 years, there have been 10 presidents who have presided over the six steps to success taken by the Toronto Friends of the Visual Arts. Step one, we need members, they said. And so in the spring of 1998, 44 people joined the small group. By the following January, there were 135 members. Soon there had to be a membership cap, and then there was a waiting list. The original members were surprised. Step two, if we do not fundraise, we still need money, they said. So let's charge for memberships. And so they did, and they appointed a treasurer. Step three, now we have members and money, we need to do something important and relevant. So they decided to give awards. Step four, if we give awards, we will need committees to choose the recipients. And lo, there were committees. Step five, if we give awards, we need to have a celebration and let everyone in the arts community in Toronto know what we've done. And lo, there was tribute night. But before awards and before committees and almost before there was money, there was a vision statement dated June 29th, 1998 to promote knowledge of the visual arts through lectures, gallery viewings and studio tours and to financially support greater community awareness of the visual arts, which led to step six, a program committee to inform members of planned events. This was a good plan with good results. Over the past 20 years, Toronto Friends of the Visual Arts has given over $800,000 to outstanding members of the arts community in Toronto. Members have attended lectures, studio visits and gallery exhibitions, visited private collections and traveled to special art shows in other cities. They have participated on committees with enthusiasm and had the great joy of being involved in the world of the visual arts in Toronto.